Let's now discuss how to incorporate headers and footers into your templates. This video will only deal with the RTF implementation of the header footer solution. The first thing to know is that header footers are their own separate document templates. So we have our main template and we have our header footer template. These are then combined when the document is generated. On screen I have an RTF template we created in earlier videos. If I generate this, no header footer is present. We can add a header footer by making a selection on the drop down here. I have two options, a header footer for each branch of my organization. Keep in mind that we have two templates on screen right now, my main template and the header footer templates. I will choose header footer Sweden and click OK. On the generator document I can see my header footer is added. The Swedish branch details are visible. This way of working gives us the ability to create general letters and then apply a correct header footer when needed. We do not always need to make a selection. We can preset our templates to choose a specific header footer by default. This is done in the template creation area. I'll find TM003 template and then choose English. On the properties we have a drop down called header footer. Click here and then choose the Swedish option. What we have done now is set this header footer to be the default whenever TM003 is generated. Now if I choose TM003 on the viewprint area, my header footer is already selected. Next let's look at the layout and properties of a header footer. Back in template creation, take note that my header footer templates are stored under case type general. This is good practice as these types of documents do not really belong to any one case type, but instead function as a general solution for all document creation. General is then the case type you choose when creating a new header footer template. I will now select my header footer template. On the properties, one thing to note. The template type is set to header footer. You always need to set this as the type when creating a new header footer template. I'll open the Swedish template first. On this screen there are a few important items. First notice the dotted lines shown here. This denotes the separation between your header area and your letter content. We will make all our changes above this line. I'll scroll down and the same applies to the footer area. The line here defines the separation between the footer and the main letter content. To show or hide the dotted lines, click on the header footer button shown here. Let's close this window and create a new template from scratch. As always, click on New Document to start. In the case type selection, choose General. Enter the details as we've done before. The difference, as mentioned, is to set the template type to header footer. Now click Open Document. In this new area we need to access the header footer by clicking the header footer button shown here. This will then activate the dotted lines so that we know where the header footer part starts and ends. Click in the header area so that the cursor appears there. In my header area I will add a table structure by right clicking and choosing Table, Insert Table. Here I will choose one row but two columns. I can now add in my relevant text and then I'll add an image in the next area. Right click and choose insert embed picture. And I will then right align the image. This is good enough for the header so let's do the footer. Scroll down until you see the footer area. Click in the footer area so that the cursor appears there and let's add a page number. Right click and choose insert page number. We are done for now so let's save. 
Let's generate my template. The document we chose has multiple pages and our header footer looks OK on the first page. But if we scroll to the second page we see an issue. We do have an issue as the header footer has been repeated here. We don't necessarily want this. We only want our header footer to appear on the first page and not the second. I'll demonstrate how to get around this. I'll create a new header footer template and call it header footer first page only. We need to create a special kind of header footer area. Do this by right clicking and choosing edit first page header footer, create first page header. This will add in the dotted lines as seen before. Repeat this for the footer area. What you see on screen will then only apply to the first page of your document when generated. I'll add in my content as per normal. If I wanted to have a different header footer on the second page and any other pages, this is possible. One example could be page numbers on all the pages except the first. To do this, we need to add a second page to our template. Click in the body and then press Ctrl and Enter to create a page break. A second page is then added with its own header footer as seen here. Now add in your second page content as needed. Let's generate our document to see the result. It all appears as expected.